Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page three. Page three is going to be a very simple page, and um, part of that is because page two is so complicated, uh, but also it's just worked out that that's the way the paper is being distributed. This album has lots of interactive elements on other pages, and I am using most of the um, the bundle. So I'm down to, uh, I'm building it out of order, which is not uncommon, but I'm down to uh, just a few choices uh, left for page two and page seven. So I'm going to do something simple. I'm going to do a nice belly band with a, a large insert. Okay. On page two, um, we've trimmed out the left and right edge of that page with this pattern. And so I just want to pull that pattern back in for for unity and so that it's cohesive. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down. These are a half inch each. And I also want to double check which way is the right way. And that is up. I think I'm using only patterns that aren't directional on this page, but I'm not sure. I think I, I think that's true. Again, double check orientation. Okay, we're going to trim this page down to fit. Oh, first we're going to install the belly band. What did I do with it? I shuffled my hair. Here, here it is. Okay, so the belly band is two inches across and it's nine inches tall. And you're going to score a half inch and eight and a half inch to make your belly band. So we're going to find the center line here and here and install. We're going to mark, or just line up our tick marks here. I'm going right side. Okay, this is going to be what goes underneath the belly band, and I'm going to rough trim it, which means I'll have to come back and fine tune it for the color block effect. Okay. 
trim that and see how it looks. Let's see how we did. It's a little bit crooked. I'm going to turn it around and see if it fits better. It fits perfect. I don't know. There's. It's obviously not a flat surface I'm working on, so that's part of what I'm working against. I'm going to ink it, and we're going to glue this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on this side. I'm going to slip it in, and then I'm going to lift it and add more glue. Otherwise, I think it gets pretty messy pretty quickly. And we'll just lift this and add our glue. Okay, lovely, lovely. Okay, now I have some beautiful paper here to use as our insert. So we're gonna use this as the insert and this also pulls the patterns in from the previous page. So I'm gonna trim this down to fit. There we go. So I've trimmed this down to seven and a half by seven and a half. So I'm going to make um, a mat for that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I trimmed this out and yeah, I'm definitely liking that. So the question is, how do I want to color block it? And I'm going to make that decision based on what other decorative element I'm going to put here, such as something like this, um, in which case the color blocking would be completely hidden. The other alternative would be to have three equal sized blocks. So I'm gonna look through my um, uh, die cuts and see if there's something that just jumps out as the right answer here. That's to me, it's pretty, but it's not wide, it's too wide. Um, that's too busy. That's kind of cool. Something simple. It doesn't really hide a color block. There's a lot of cool elements. Some of them are just not sized right. I'm going to pull in. So I'm pulling in page two uh, just to remind me of what design elements I used over here. Um, what can I do that would be interesting? She's kind of interesting. This is interesting. So far I like those. And then there's actually some, some fussy cut. These guys are kind of cool. Maybe I'll do him. Yeah, if I do him, then I have to do equal size um, three, three color blocks. So I'm gonna try that. I'm fussing around a little bit because I can't make mistakes. I don't have enough paper to recover. So I'm going to look at it a little bit more. I like him. So there's him. I think there's an Alice. There's this guy. And they're pretty cool. So here she is. And there's the queen. 
who's the biggest. But I don't really like her there. I want I want whatever's here to fit within the confines of the um, belly band. And that's him. Okay, so he's he's the decision. So we're gonna take um, eight inches. Actually, it's seven and seven eighths, and divide it by three. And then I'll come up with my little block size. And if you find a scrap that covers the whole thing, great, good for you. But I don't have one, and I don't think you will either at this point. Okay, let me do a little bit of math and then trim these out and I'll let you know what my number is. Okay, I trimmed out my pieces and if I did everything right, um, they are going to fit. They are two and five eighths each. And that leaves room for the color block line. That's not right. <laughs> that was the actual the leftover. Okay, we'll take this out of our field division. Go ahead and move this. I think we settled on the rabbit, which I think is super cool. Let's get this down, see how it looks, and then we'll make that final decision. off a bit. So let's trim this down just a bit. Oh, it fits perfectly. I'll probably take a sixteenth of an inch off. Uh, maybe a little more. So it looks more deliberate. This is the other alternative as we put him in the middle. And frankly, I kind of like the color blocking. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, as soon as I find my metal roller, which is this, escapes me at the moment, so I use my little one. It's too small to cut in my trimmer, and I'm too lazy to tape it to a piece of paper. Okay, this is just a lot of trim and test, trim and test. A little more. Lovely, lovely. Okay, now let's go ahead and take our insert and apply it to our mat. Hmm, did I cut it wrong? I guess I made it too big. That's a little odd. Something's not quite. I made it a little bit too big. Here we go.
Oh, that's pretty tight. A little bit tighter than I planned. Um, I am going to trim this side down. And then what I think I want to do is make this a really large bifold. So, yeah. So this will be the back page. Let me add a score line. So you're going to need um, one at seven and a half by seven and a half and one at eight by seven and a half. So you have a hinge to um, score and attach to the other one. I do not see my ticket is. right in here. Doesn't that look lovely? We're going to add our little guy and I need to ink the edges so we'll do that real quick. Or did I already? Nope, I didn't. It's hard to tell. Sorry, I was out of screen. Frame, sorry. Pretty cute. I'm late, I'm late. That's my dog, Nola. She came in to visit us. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Now at the end of the day, if I have enough to do some color blocking in here, I will. And then I may also add um, some of the ephemera cards. Uh, the journaling in particular is what I was thinking about. So that is it for page three. Thanks everybody. Be back soon.